Hi, I'm Ron Lehman. I'm 85 years old, and I was the second big brother ever. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you very much. Decided to be a big brother because there's, there are children out there who have lost their dads for whatever reason and every boy every child growing up boys or girls they need that guidance from their parents sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad and I was hoping to get a good guy and I got a really good guy when I got Jim and we would sing together we when we'd be driving in the we we start singing in the truck or saying things and telling little jokes he would he was just a a very, very special person. I said, where are we going? We're going to go fishing, Jim. We grab the poles and away. Gets to, I get him to dig some worms. And he dig worms. He'd dig worms all day if you ask him. <laughs> so we went, we went fishing. We caught some trout and I showed him how to skin them and we fried them right there, you know. And like he thought, my God, this is unbelievable. Like he said to me, how do you know all this stuff? I don't know, Jim. I just know all this stuff. It's just, and this is why I want you to, you and I to get along together with one another and enjoy life. Forget about all the things that, that happen in life, because I've had them too. Okay, and we, we hold hands sometimes and walk along and sing, and he was just happy to be with me. Where's Jim right now? Well, I hate to say this, but Jim passed away when he was 13 years old. She called me and said, you better hold on because I got some bad news for you. I thought, oh, one of our kids had been hurt, but uh, she said, no, Jim Brooks passed away today. Uh, I guess he was with his sister and, and his brother, his younger brother, Chuck, and his heart basically exploded. And that's what his mom told me, and his heart exploded. He fell off his pony dead, and he was 13 years old. And uh, I have uh, here a picture of Jim. Five foot nine, weighed 136 pounds, and that's that was Jim when he died. He was just a wonderful. This is a letter that his mother sent to me, Pokes Post Office Box 116, Calgary, Ontario, and I got this December 25th, 1972. Christmas is close and I still hadn't written to thank you for the contribution to the Big Brothers in Jim's name. I can't think of anything that would have pleased, pleased Jim more. His Big Brothers were so very special to him and helped him over many a lonely time. I am most thankful to you and your family for sharing Jim with me to watch him grow and mature under the guidance of a man and they want to be a big brother himself. In a way, he was a big brother to all the little children in the neighborhood. He took them out on, on Halloween, had a game of tag, war, or whatever else the game of the hour was. Gave them rides on his ponies and teased them. Half of the time, it was the little guys at the door, not the big ones, to see if Jim could come out to play. How Jim loved living in the country with his pony and our new life at home. I couldn't have asked for anything more. My sincere thanks again, yours truly, Mary Simon. And that's only the, maybe the fourth time I've read that since I got this in 1972. So, Jim was a very, very special person that I saw in some